YouTube, Xtoria here, and today I'm going to be looking at a dungeon gold farm. So we're going to be heading to Zolvarak in Tanaris. Now in 7.3, the dungeon mobs got nerfed, and apparently they're not all dropping loot and they're dropping a bit less. So there's a few theories on this. The first theory is obviously less loot, um, lower gold per hour, but then the other theory is less loot, like when you do get one, it's going to be worth a lot more. So um, the quickest way to get to ZF is from Dalaran. You want to take the portals to Cabin of Time here and then just fly across. Uh, I am going to be joined by a couple of people. Uh, we're going to do a loot appraiser challenge. If you ever want to join me, guys, just leave your battle tag in the comment below and we'll go from there. But yeah, definitely interested to see how much gold per hour I get um, with the new changes and see how that all pans out. I'll just speed it up and show you guys how to get there from the Cabins of Time. before I do a dungeon gold farm, I make sure I have some bear tartar on me. So you can buy this on the AH. Whenever you kill a mob, a critter, anything, it's going to increase your movement speed by 70% for 6 seconds, I think it is. Um, and yeah, it just basically makes the whole run a lot quicker. Uh, but yeah, I'll just show you my route real quick, and then we're going to do a loot appraiser challenge, have a 60 minute uh, run at that, and then I'll show you guys the results at the end. But yeah, enjoy. the route I'm going to take so I'm going to do it with a couple of subscribers for the next hour now I did notice that the loot seemed to be pretty normal then it wasn't the best run I didn't get too many greens but um and nothing of any value apart from the BOE blue maybe a tiny bit but yeah it didn't seem to be nerfed so maybe they reverted I'm not too sure I would have to look into that a bit more one hour later all right guys and I'm back after one hour of farming uh so we did set off with a couple of subscribers and as you can see one of them got extremely lucky and got the jade leg plates so these are currently going for 250k on our realm it's because he's on my realm as well and 170k regional so you can see the potential in this farm is massive um the other guys both got a couple of jade uh, items but not the leggings only just the leggings was him um i got really lucky actually and i was able to get um three boe epics so i got two flurry axes and a precisely calibrated broomstick within the hour which was pretty crazy but i've gone through and broken down all the gold so and go through it all now but as you can see got some really good xmod pieces i've sold that for 4.3k before just in the last week actually um these are currently going for 2k on my realm 1.1k regional so using regional market value i've got 42,000 gold in greens and blues uh 9.9k pretty much 10k in boe epics uh the cloth and dust because the major has gone up a lot at the moment uh that came to 4,500 gold and then in the patterns there's pretty much 10k gold so in total i got 66.99k gold or 66,991 gold. Um, we did have some loot appraiser issues again, 
where Beefy Noodles wasn't um, counting all his items that he was getting, but he's calculated he got 55k or 55,601, and then Calm's mum got 211k gold. So he clearly won the challenge. It was great fun to have a few people on for me. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to see how you can win a WoW token giveaway. And yeah, I would love to have more people join me along and good luck farming, guys. And hopefully you guys get the Jade Leg Plates. If you do, leave a screenshot below. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, monthly WoW token giveaway time. For your chance to win for the month of September, head across to my Azura Worldling Gold Farm Guide, like and subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment. A random comment will be selected on the 1st of October. Good luck everyone that enters. Thanks for subscribing.